Good morning, everyone. Today is a meal prep with me, but before we get started, let's go grocery shopping. I'm getting my staples that I eat weekly and will show you how I prepare easy and healthy meals. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd take you through a meal prep. Um, this is actually a midweek meal prep. I actually do prep earlier uh, I usually do a meal prep on Sundays, but also midweek. And now I kind of have a rhythm where I don't cook for the entire week. I'll do like a couple of days at a time. That way I can mix and match my food. So I thought I would just show you guys what I'm eating over the next couple of days. I am super busy. So the next two days I'll be at work. Um, I'll be super busy, so I want to have breakfast that's grab and go, but also be able to have like quick lunch, quick dinner ideas and not have to think about it. So yeah, before we get started with the meal prep, I thought I'd share um, my salad that I uh, am going to put together. Um, in my last video, I talked about gut health. And this salad is definitely gut friendly, has wonderful prebiotic and probiotic rich foods. And also as part of my meal prep as well, um, although I'm focused on weight loss, I still try to make sure that I get in really healthy gut friendly foods on top of taking you know, my probiotic and a lot of the other things that I discussed in that video. So yeah, let's get, let me take you through what's in my salad and then we'll get started with the meal prep. All right. This is one of my favorite plant-based meals. Um, it's a lot. It, it's, it looks like it's a lot, but it's, you know, basically a salad with some uh, leafy greens, some carrots, red onions, quinoa underneath there. I also have roasted veggies. I have some cauliflower, sweet potato. I only just have like a couple of sweet potatoes left. And then underneath, um, let me see. Underneath I have um, some lentils I cooked. Actually, let me grab a fork. Okay, so I have a fork. Let me see if I can move this. I have, oh, they're buried, but I did cook some lentils, roasted some garlic. I have a little bit. I did a stir fry with kale and peas. So yeah, this is great for your gut. You have some prebiotic foods in here. I'm going to put a little bit of sauerkraut on top as for probiotic and yeah this is a complete salad and one of the things that i'm doing for my gut health is making sure that i eat um warm foods the salad greens are not but i try to make sure i do a lot of stir fry warming foods which has definitely been great for my gut health so here is an ideal, and this is completely plant-based, but you can add whatever protein source you want, whether it's tofu, chicken, salmon, another type of fish, beef, eggs, whatever. Okay, guys, so in each of the bowls, I have two teaspoons of, or two tablespoons, sorry, of chia seeds, one tablespoon of hemp seeds and for some additional bulk but also good healthy carbs and protein um, and fiber i added um, the organic i used the one degree gluten-free sprouted rolled oats <laughs> rolled oats <laughs> so i put one uh, tablespoon um, in there and I also added 
one tablespoon of the organic cacao nibs for some extra antioxidants. Um, I'm going to also include um, the um, some soy milk, one cup is nine grams of protein. I love this brand because it's just, it's so simple. It's just water and organic, uh, whole organic soybeans. Um, I don't drink soy milk a lot, but I do like the Trader Joe's organic uh, soy milk. It actually works great. I'll add some sea salt, some cinnamon, and yeah, after I have these put together, I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so everything is mixed together and I'm going to add some wild blueberries. So yeah, I'm going to add some wild blueberries. So I'll put um, a fourth a cup in here and then I'll put a fourth a cup in here. Um, and the second one, I'm going to actually maybe add two, so like a half a cup, and then I'll stir it up. And then, yeah, I'll put these in the refrigerator and this will be my grab and go breakfast in the morning. Guys, you can heat these up. You can just take the lid off, put it in the microwave if you want um, and heat it up. I like it like that. Um, this is the final uh, recipe before I place these in a the refrigerator. So I added some of the organic unsweetened coconut chips from Trader Joe's. Once again, just for a little bit more of extra healthy fats. Um, fat along with protein helps keep you satiated and full longer. So yeah, and then also guys, you can also add, um, sometimes I'll add protein powder or collagen powder. Um, and then when, and then tomorrow morning on my way out the door, I'll add some nuts, um, some walnuts on top or either a spoon of sunflower butter. And yeah, this was my breakfast. Um, see what they look like. I'm gonna stir it up even more to get the purple all the way to the bottom. But yeah, this is going to be- I'm going to put on a pot of quinoa. Um, I eat quinoa quite a bit. I would say, you know, weekly, every other week, but definitely this is a staple in my diet. This is a complete protein. I love it as additional added protein. Love it in all my bowls. So let's get the quinoa on, um, get that cooking, and then we can put it in a container, let it cool off, put it in a container and put that in the refrigerator. And that's something that I can add to my meals over the next couple of days. Actually the next uh, three to four days, I'll eat off the quinoa. You want to make sure you rinse off your quinoa really well um, and if you see any like debris um, just let it run through um, and get it clean I'm actually going this is one cup of quinoa rinsed I'm going to add two cups of water and then one bay leaf and I'll get that on and I'll come back and show you what it looks like getting started on my roasted vegetable tray and on this tray I'll have some uh, red onion which I have uh, half of red onion left along with broccoli um, I also have some tofu so I thought I'd add that for some additional protein
going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. Um, put Let it cool down, put it away, and this will also be part of one of the meal preps um, that I have in mind with, um, or one of the meal ideas that I have in mind from this meal prep. So I'm checking back in. I am makeupless and relaxed with my scarf, with my printed scarf hair tie. So um, the roasted veggies are in the oven, but I can never get enough vegetables. I will say in my two day meal prep, I always do a roasted vegetable and I always do a stir fry. Um, I try to get in as many vegetables as I can. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the stir fry. Once again, let that cool down, put that away. And then guys, we're done. That's, it's very easy, it's very simple. And then, yeah, we can put our meal ideas together. So we're gonna start with just like one teaspoon, I think this is, of, um, the Trader Joe's organic coconut oil, but use the oil of your choice. I would recommend coconut oil, um, avocado oil, or even olive oil. I do cook with extra virgin olive oil, but for my roasted veggies, I really like the coconut oil. Um, you definitely wanna make sure you cook your vegetables in a good quality oil. This is all I need. So I'll put this in the pan, let it melt down. Um, at the cruciferous crunch mix, which has um, kale, Brussels sprouts, more broccoli, <laughs> green cabbage, and red cabbage. I'm not gonna cook a lot of it, but I do like stir fries to add in, once again, to help bulk up the meal. So let's get these um, stir fry veggies going and we'll add our seasonings as well. A little bit of this in from the bag. A lot of it, a lot in the bag. But once again, I, as you guys know, I eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables, but you could also just do a stir fry with bell peppers and um, zucchini. I, I do that a lot or asparagus, zucchini and peas. Actually, you know what? I think I may add some peas to this. I think I will. Hold on, let's add some frozen peas. Just, I love peas. It's another source of protein. They're so healthy for you. And I love that it gives just like a little bit of sweetness to whatever dish I added to. So yeah, let's add some peas. So here is the finished product. I have the roasted stir fry here and the roasted veggie tray bake here. I'm just gonna let these cool for a little while and then I'll put them away. So we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for spending the day with me while I put together my quick two-day meal prep. Um, as you saw, it was just quick and easy, but also healthy meals. So come back for part two of this video when I show you what I eat in a day, how I put everything together. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you know when I post my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.